guys, so today I wanted to talk about Cannes Film Festival. I made a comedic musical earlier last year and then it got into the film festival this year, so that was really cool. So before I actually went to Cannes, I was really freaking out because I had no idea what to expect. I read as many blogs as possible, I started watching French film and trying to practice my French and stuff and it, in the films I really couldn't follow, but being in Cannes was very different, like the people spoke much slower, I mean I guess they knew that tourists were around. They were all really friendly. The people were so nice there. So the first thing you're gonna want to do when you get to Cannes Film Festival is locate where the accreditations are, which would be in the palace. And there's a tent outside and then you go inside and you grab your badges because without your badge you can't do anything. So after we got our badges, went to the short film corner and then they have like these um, booths and stuff that are set up and then you can sit there and you can watch the films and there's like 2,000 of them in the library. So it's kind of overwhelming and you have to talk to the people outside and ask some like about their films and stuff then go check them out. So they have like this area, a conference area where you can watch talks and everything and you know have Q&A's and stuff. But I didn't actually go for the short film corner, I more of went to see what the people did in the film market and I wanted to network and this is kind of like a physical representation of an approximate amount of people that I met. Yeah, well, I'm in an orchid garden. Sun. Sun. about the weather here is that it's super cold in the shade and then when you sit in the sun it's like it's really, really toasty warm. but with like a wind. So we ran around the film festival and we went to other places in the palace and like just explored and stuff and you're gonna kind of want to live close to the palace, have somewhere where you're within walking distance. Around red carpet times the roads will be closed and there is so much traffic there, it's unbelievable and cabs are so expensive. So behind me right now are all these ladders that the locals have set up so that they can snap some photos of the stars and stuff like that when red carpets happen. So you can't get into the screenings in the Lumiere Theatre without having an invite. So the ticket system at Cannes is really interesting because you basically make wishes and you log into your ticket account that they send you in your email and you choose whichever films you want to see and you get rejected. <laughs> um, they don't really grant that many wishes, it's usually about one per person but I was actually showing you guys an example of how to make a wish and I ended up getting a ticket for this and I was so absolutely chuffed. Like look at how happy I am right now. Like, oh my god. It was so much fun. Um, anyway, so you can check out your wishes. Um, they tell you to check out your email, but you don't actually get all your rejections on time through that. And yeah, so you go to the reservation place in the palace and you can even make wishes there, then this is the guy who doesn't grant your wishes. Oh my god, so bored of this place. It's so disgusting here. The weather is awful. So if you don't get an invite that you want to a red carpet event, that's totally fine because have these after premiere screenings. The next morning or afternoon after the screening, it basically takes place on this rooftop, but you have to line up for films about two hours and two hours and a half before to get really good seats. The reason behind that is that like, I don't know, like over 10,000 people attend this film festival. Like we're talking about the biggest film festival in the world. So if you're gonna want to watch the films, you have to line up like hours earlier. Um, we would go and grab breakfast for the morning screenings and just eat while we waited in line. We would bring a lot of uh, magazines with us and they have these daily printed magazines. Or we would talk to people in line with us and just make new friends because that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's it intense. No, I was talking to my mom and she's like, are you getting a lot of sun? And I'm like, yeah, mom. I'm getting such a bad <laughs> sun to you that I can see this in the dark. Okay, hey guys, so we're in line for Mad Max right now. We came like two hours early. I'm like, don't, don't, my arm will show it. It's funny. <laughs> Thanks. Money peed on the carpet. Shut up. This fake carpet looks like the whole thing. So they have this place called the Village International, which is filled with a bunch of pavilions from countries all over the world. 
and it's really cool because the UAE pavilion is there and they have an amazing view and we spent quite a bit of time there to network with people from back home. So we spent like a couple of afternoons there just networking and they have like these cocktail sessions and stuff where everyone shows up and yeah, and it has this really beautiful terrace area. So these lemons are also attached with wires. It is yet another lie. They're so fake. So we're at the French Riviera right now and we see this guy in the water. And one is like, oh my god, how did he get there? And I was like, he swam. So Mani and I are getting ready now to go to the UAE lunch at the Carlton. And we're dressing kind of like professional slash fancy. So I have my necklace on and I put on some fake nails. And oh, and I got new shoes. So we're at the Carlton and we're also at Diff. Ah! <laughs> Not really, but yeah. Pick up our invites for the Lumiere. Yeah, we're so, so excited. It's gonna be cool. Uh, it's a Lumiere Brothers 120th anniversary, and so they've made like a little documentary, I think, and they're gonna be screening it in the theater Lumiere. So we're really, really excited about that because that's gonna be cool, and we get to walk the red carpet and all that stuff, or something very yeah, of the red carpet. Selfies, so we'll uh, see how this works. Yeah. And there's also the American Pavilion that we spent a lot of time at and we went to go watch the Q&A of Inside Out and Amy Poehler was there, Mindy Kaling, Pete Doctor, and oh my gosh it was so cool and we got a photo. Oh my gosh, Amy Poehler is tiny. I don't know, it's kind of humbling really. Now we can't get out. <laughs> sickness. Amani throws up all the time at theme park. I actually forgot I used to do that. Oh, my record was like four times. for Mani and I and also taking photos of it and they look really cute I'm just staring off into the distance completely in my own mind and everything you know and then it's just like I just kind of like turn my head slightly and I see Dina like taking selfies with this, with this guy and I'm like what and I turned around I'm like what are you doing who are you she's taking selfies with a total stranger like I don't know I felt like I was like a really bad mom that I wasn't like watching my kids enough you know it's just like oh my god what's happening you know you can like uh, throw in the shot of like the kid yeah yeah, yeah. he's right here <laughs> yeah. so I invented a new word it is suggestic it's suggestive and majestic suggestive Yeah. 
Yeah. We're in line. We went to the Arab Cinema Center in the Phil Market place to line up for it because if you come, what are you doing? Are you Illuminati right now? Oh my gosh. No, you don't say it. It's just implied. Uh, what? Be good, like in terms of. Oh my gosh, she's driving me crazy today. Only today? It is like two hours is a lot, but we don't have anything better to do. This is fun. I was like, oh no, we have to have a conversation for two hours. So on the last day of the festival, they have like this reprise screening program. You get to go and watch like all the films that you miss basically, but you still have to line up. But this time the lines are much shorter because um, a week into the festival, the film market will shut down and a lot of people will head back home. The festival's two weeks long. So now the lines are shorter, which is really, really cool. I lined up for Tale of Tales and, and I watched Macbeth and I watched Ice in the Sky and it was so cool. And I met a lot of people in line. Some really quick tips on what you need for or tan in general. The sun is super strong there so you're gonna need a lot of sunscreen and reapply it and stuff. Be really careful about the shoes you wear because you're gonna be walking a lot. Print so many business cards and have the name of your film actually on your business card so people know what you reference to. And I hope this vlog has somehow helped you prepare for a Can Film Festival if you ever enter the short film corner. And yeah, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and yeah.